Through the use of water reclamation certificates and a program with the Bonneville Environmental Foundation, a student-paid green fund will replace 1.2 billion gallons of water in a critically dewatered habitat in the Klamath Basin. I credit the, the brilliance of our committed students as well as the interest of the Bonneville Environmental Foundation to create this partnership. I'm pretty confident that SOU would be the first university in the world to look at their entire on-campus use of water, to think about where they need to conserve, and then make a commitment to balance their water footprint by restoring that amount to a nearby um, critically dewatered ecosystem. Every year, water irrigates farms along Seven Mile Creek, and every year, two miles of this creek and the animals that live in it or around it are threatened by dewatering. And just like renewable energy credits, um, we purchase water rest restoration certificates and then BEF will work on projects and fund the water to be put back somewhere. Unless someone like you pays a whole awful lot, nothing's going to get better. It's not. Thanks to students like Sean Franks, Southern Oregon University is not only taking a stand in support of sustainability, they're quite possibly leading the world. Uh, in 2007, a group of students came to me and said, if you will form a sustainability council, we will work wonders. With the partnership between SOU, its staff, its students, and the Bonneville Environmental Foundation, their efforts will replace 1.2 billion gallons of water to the Seven Mile Creek habitat in the Klamath River Basin, and at the same time, leaving behind a smaller footprint for others to follow in. Travis Cook, NBC5 News.